wonderful creatures of this earth how's y'all doing today so today's video is super duper different than anything I've ever done before it's a fault on makeup video like I said I've never done this before I've always wanted to but I didn't think that the makeup looks that I do are very like wow and like we're in need of a full video cuz I was like oh you guys could probably do better <laughs> I'm really like beating myself down <laughs> So I decided to give it a shot. I posted up a story on Instagram saying I was thinking of doing a makeup look video and I asked you guys for suggestions on what you guys wanted to see. This look right here is actually a suggestion that I got from my home girl, Tan Chan. Tanya, my bestie, I love you. Thank you so much for the suggestion. She suggested a Valentine's look with hearts. This look is actually inspired by Antonio Garza. But that look was more of a reddish look because they used like the modern renaissance palette Whereas I went for a more pink, vibrant, boom in your face look And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video I was... y'all gonna see Before we get into this video, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias My Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, everything will be in the description box below so y'all better get on that because if you're not following me there I don't know what you guys are doing. Let's get into this video. I'm so excited Okay, so I'm back and uh, obviously you guys want to start off with clean hands and a clean face Just to you know help make the application process more smoother obviously you also want to get your hair out of your face because hair and makeup Moving on I'm gonna start with my face, start priming it first. And I'm using the Fenty Beauty um, Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer. Just gonna prime off my face. Boom. Primed and ready. Recently, I changed up like the order of what makeup goes on first. Usually, I would have started with sealing, foundation, all of that. But recently what I've been doing is I start with my primer and then I move on to a liquid highlighter and what I use is on a daily basis is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo liquid highlighter. These are so amazing. I really love them. And this is Halo Gorgeous. Don't know if y'all can see that. I will be linking all the products below anyway. Got you. Now I'll start off with this under all my makeup to give it a more natural kind of glow because it does like come through when my whole look is done. It makes me just look more polished than I really am in real life. So I'm looking this way because this is where my mirror is. So yeah, I'm starting off with my forehead and then I'll do my under brows. Put a bit on my nose. Just basically all the places that I like to highlight. My cupid bow and my chin. Then I'm going in with my Sephora Pro Ultra Liquid Foundation brush in 83, I think. Just a normal um, brush from Sephora. And I just blend that out. And then I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin color correcting fluid and this is in peach and I'm gonna go in on my under eye I'm also gonna go in on a few of my darker um, acne scars and I'm gonna go in with the same Sephora brush and just blend that out and boom that's my base done don't know if you can see that properly. Now I'm gonna go in on my eyebrows. I am using the Brow Precise Maybelline Micro Pencil in what shade is this in? Dark brown. Use the spoolie to brush out 
my brow and define the shape that I want. I used to do my brows with pomade. I started off with pomade actually. But I think I should have started off with pencils because it used to take me forever. And actually I'm kind of thinking about going back to pomade, giving it a try again. But I don't know, I keep questioning myself. What do you guys think? For those of you who do makeup, what do you guys prefer? Pencil or pomade? Just do light, fine strokes. Then I'm just gonna brush out the beginning. It's actually not bad. That's actually not bad for like one go. You go, girl. Yo, that's actually not bad. <laughs> I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer, and this is in the shade 370. I'm just gonna put like a line here and a line here. Now, with this flat brush from BH Cosmetics, this actually came in like. A whole set and they're amazing i love them so much blend. okay so i'm gonna just go ahead and blend up the rest of the concealer on my forehead and i'm going in with the nanshi nanshi flawless foundation flat top brush in f1 that's what it looks like flat top and i'm just gonna pat it across my forehead It'll also help me see the shape of my eyebrows better to see where I need to touch up if I need to so I do have a few new products I will be trying out in this video I have a lot of products that I need to try out and you know make looks out of I have these goodies this whole makeup bag of goodies that I received from at Glamzilla, aka Stephanie Valentine. I received these as a gift and I already thanked her, but I just wanna say it again. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I can't wait to use all these products. So first things first, I am going to go in with Medium Tawny in the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Um, I use obviously a lighter concealer to like fix the under part of my brows. So it also acts as a highlight. Boom. My brows are clean now. So one of the new makeup products that I'm going to be trying is the LA Girl Pro Primer High Definition Eyeshadow Primer. This is actually my first time using an eyeshadow primer. I usually just use concealer, the Wet n Wild concealer that I just used actually, because I've always thought like, it's good enough, you know, it does the job. But yeah, I'm just gonna apply this. I'm not gonna apply too much. I'm gonna blend it out with my finger because I don't think I have a brush for this. It's actually a nice product. It's very like smooth to apply and blending out is flawless, it seems. Okay, so the makeup look that I'm going for is inspired by Antonio Garza. It's this photo here. You know, but I want to go more for a pink look. That gives me an excuse to try this. It's the Fenty Beauty um, Snap Shadows, and this is a number four rose. This is what it looks like. Has the number four on it. It's a cute palette, and I actually bought number seven along with it, so I have those to like snap on the back of each other. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. This light pink one is Sleepover. This fuchsia pink is called Lil Miss. This wine red kind of color, like shimmer, is called Stunt Queen. This is Sugar Shock. It's a spice trip. And this is Diva Fiva. Okay, so now I'm gonna be looking down most of the time to be looking at the picture for a reference. I'm gonna be going in with 
Sleepover, which is the light pink shade over here. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go in on my lid. I like the color. It blends quite nicely as well. So I'm gonna be using the Dream with a Vision eyeshadow palette. It looks like this. It's from Makeup Obsession. And I'm going to be using the shade Dreamy. It's this one. I think I'm gonna make it like an ombre look. And now I'm going in with the Storybook Cosmetics Burn Book. I got this as a gift from my older sister and I love this palette. Obviously, I'm going to go in with this shade, which is Wednesday, because on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Oh my god. In my like history of filming YouTube videos, that was like the biggest heart attack moment ever. But. The eyeshadow palette is fine, guys. It did not break. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going in with Wednesday because on Wednesday we wear pink. I'm gonna go in on the like outer corner of my eye. <laughs> pink. That's a lot of pink. I'm just gonna go back in with Dreamy and fix the middle part. Make sure that Wednesday is not, you know, overpowering it. And now I'm just gonna go back in with Sleepover. I'm going back in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I'm going to take some product onto the MAC brush. I think it's MAC 195. It's a concealer brush going to try making the shape of a heart. I think that's not too bad. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it with setting powder and what I'm using is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Mini Instant Retouch Setting Powder in Cashew. So I'm just gonna use this powder to set the concealer. Okay, I don't know how that's looking to you guys, but it looks quite alright to me. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, so yay. This is much bigger than the other one. This is not, it's not turning out as planned. <laughs> I'm gonna try and clean it up, this part. I think that's the, the best I'm gonna get it. So I'm just gonna set it with powder because it's stressing me out. But I mean, the first one didn't turn out too bad. It actually turned out quite nice. I'm going to take the Heartbreaker palette from Rincon and I'm conflicted between using Valentine, which is a shimmery pink, and Moonlight, which is like champagne-y kind of color. I think I'll take that one. And I'm just gonna basically color in the heart. They're not even in the same place. <laughs> I'm gonna try something and I'm gonna come back. So as y'all can see, I um, was able to fix the outline of the heart. <laughs> I decided to wipe this whole eye off and do the whole thing again because this heart was much bigger than this one. So yeah, I decided to do it all again and this time I got a better outline because I used the Pro Primer from LA Girl actually to make this heart. And it looks much better, much, much better than the first one. Looks much more similar to this one. I went back and then I did like the outline around the heart with Wednesday. I'm gonna do my left eye now. I played myself. Didn't think it would be this hard, but I shouldn't have thought it was gonna be easy. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty good. 
this eye is turning out to be like amazing actually that's that's pretty good that heart but any who don't know to do the so eyeliner and I'm going in with the Maybelline New York hyper precise all day liquid liner and this is in black I'm gonna try and keep the eyeliner as thin as possible because obviously the heart is the focus point oh that's actually fine so nice little thin liner I'm gonna do my other eye and I'm gonna come back so the next step is to apply my Fenty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 317 just apply it around like my face you know areas that need concealing I don't really use foundation anymore this is just what I do and now I'm going to take my Nanshi Flawless Foundation Flat Top Brush and blend it all in Boom. we are moving on to the next step which is my under eye concealer this is also to help with the highlight so I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me um, concealer in the shade 35 just gonna take this on my under eye I'm gonna put a bit on my cupid's bow and on my chin over here so I just went in with my beauty blender and blended out my under eye concealer and now going in with my Fenty um, powder I'm just gonna set my face I'm just gonna take my um, foundation brush and I'm just gonna blend that in so the first setting spray I'm going to be using is the um, Makeup Obsession um, Illuminating Fixing Spray, and this is in Moon Glow. Yeah, you see it's purple and it's like shimmery. So yeah, after I set my powder, I go in with this dew setting spray. I'm just gonna go in with my Beauty Blender and blend it in. After this is done, I'm just gonna go in with my contour and I'm using obviously Fenty Beauty match stick and this is in truffle this is what it looks like so I'm going in with my Sephora Pro contour kabuki brush and this is I think the number 82 so I'm just gonna take this and blend it all out now I'm going to take my Too Faced Beach Bunny. This is what it looks like. I'm also going to be taking my contouring brush. This came with the um, Smashbox um, contouring kit. I used to use the one in dark. So I'm just taking the contour color. And then I'm going to be adding it to my contour. I'm gonna take this color right here and use it as a bronzer on top of my contour. Now I'm going to take my big kabuki brush from my BH Cosmetics kit and I'm just gonna blend all of that out. Okay, so I think I blended it in. I think I did a good job. But just in case, I'm going to go in with my booty blender and just tap, tap, tap. I am lightly patting on my face, just so you guys know I'm not like punching myself in the face with this beauty blender. Now I'm going to go in with blush. And for blush, I am using the Holika Holika Peko Blusher. It looks like this. It's the red one. I think I remember there was like a few other shades, but this is the one that I went with. So I take just a little bit, rub a little bit off, and then from my cheek, brush it up to give me a more youthful type of look. And if you feel like you can't blend it out right with the brush, then just go in with the booty blender. I am going to be taking 
the Rimmel London hashtag Insta Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer Setting Spray. Uh, this was on my channel previously when I went for the PH1 show in London. So now I'm going to be going in with my Lime Crime Highlight Opals palette. This is what it looks like. And we have three shades here. So we have peach, pink, and gold. I am obviously going to be using the pink highlighter. So yeah, let's put that on my cheekbone. Now I'm just going to apply some on my cupid bow. A little bit on my chin. And my underbrow. Now I'm just going to take some on my finger and apply that on my nose for my nose highlight. I'm going to take my big blending brush and blend it out. And now I am going to take my um, Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Filler Brow Mascara. I also used this in a recent video. It's one of my favorites. I explained also why it's my favorite. So y'all should hop on that video. So basically I'm just gonna take the three colors that I used and put that on my under eye. And we're gonna start from the inner corner. Now we're moving on to mascara. So I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes gonna go in with my L'Oreal Paradise Primer. I'm gonna apply this to both the top and bottom lashes. I am going to try on the Fenty Mascara. It's, it's called Cause I'm Black. Yeah, this is the full frontal mascara and it comes with like the dual type brush. I don't know if y'all can see that. There's the flat side and the wide side just to, you know, give you different types of like volume and length. I usually use like three different mascaras. I actually still might do that for this video just to get a more like volumized look. Actually, you know what? I'm not confident enough to go in my bottom lashes with this mascara just yet. So I'm going to be using my Max Factor Clump Defy. It's this in purple. So I'm just going to be using this to go on my bottom lashes. Try to keep a light hand when doing this because I hate when I get a mess. And now I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Paris Mega Volume Miss Baby Roll Mascara. And boom. Okay. Now for lips. For my lips, I'm going to be applying the um, Fenty lipstick. And this is in the pink shade. I think it's called Matemoiselle. And it's this pink color. Just to keep the pink theme going. So I'll be applying, I'll try not to apply too much because it's quite pigmented. Okay. Now, at the moment, this is very, 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 very pink. And that's not what I'm going for, so let me just pat it down on a tissue to remove the excess. Okay. And I'll also just wipe it a bit. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my Anti Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Fussy, which is a pinkish kind of lip gloss. And it's actually my favorite, like, I use it for everything. Yeah, now it doesn't look too in your face. It looks a bit more subtle, glossy in that. So, yes. And finally, I'm gonna take my Urban Decay All Night Makeup Setting Spray. 
and I honestly love this setting spray. Uh, my friend Fizza actually introduced it to me because she's the one who uses it. And then, you know, I borrowed it one time and I was like, this is amazing! So yeah, I copped one for myself. And like I did earlier with my other setting sprays, I just take the beauty blender and I tap. And voila! That is this look done. It's very pink. I'm gonna take off my hair clips now. I think I should fix my hair and then come back. Boom! Hair is done, makeup's done, and oh my god, I cannot believe we made it to the end of this video because I <laughs> I thought I was gonna give up halfway. Like when I was doing the hearts, it was so stressful, I wanted to cry. But before that, like I wanted to cry when I dropped my palette. Like <laughs> I was this close, I was this close, guys. <laughs> But it's okay, we finished the look, we made it to the end, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I mean, it's not A1 work, but it's A1 effort, and that's what counts, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the times you hear that saying, you know, it's, it's not the destination, but the journey that matters, because you go through a lot of trials and tribulations on the journey and then you make it to the end and you're just like huh but then you look back like dang i learned a lot <laughs> i learned that um eyeshadow primer is your friend it's good it's amazing i mean the la girl um eyeshadow primer that i used in this video chef's kiss because it like applied seamlessly it blended out seamlessly and like it just made the product so much easier to apply on this eye compared to the uh, one i did with concealer and uh yeah that's a good lesson it's a good lesson <laughs> i don't know where i'm going with this but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i sure had a lot of fun filming it as stressful as it was that's it for this video um like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this with your friends, your fam, your pets, your grandma, anybody, everybody that will watch. I'll see you when I see you.